Hey everybody, this is your boy Sarad with another episode of Cause I Have Nothing Else Better To Do. Oh now, this today's episode is going is entitled Blessings Out of the Blue. Uh, this story, this is gonna be one of my closest and most nearest and dearest story, cause this one is about my baby girl. My baby girl. Now a lot of y'all don't know this about Sarai, and some of you do know, but I, I have a star child, star child. I call her my star child. I got a baby girl, uh, uh, she's an actress. Her name is Cara Patterson, and she's done all kind of things. She's, she's, she's been in a couple Tyler Perry productions. She was in Broadway twice, uh, two seasons of the E! Networks, uh, The Arrangement, and then, the late, then she was in a little movie that many of you might have heard of, a little movie called Straight Outta Compton. She played Easy E's wife. And the reason why I'm calling this Blessing Out of the Blue, because a lot of times when you hear about stars or kids, you know, singing or whatever, they say, well, they've been doing it since, they've been singing. He started singing or she started singing when she was three years old. And no, it wasn't the case here. This was what I call a blessing out of the blue. Let me tell you the story. One day I was minding my own business, just doing my thing, you know. I get a call from my daughter's mom. She says, this was years ago. My daughter was still in high school. Mother called me and said, hey, Ron, you, you doing anything? No, no, I'm, I'm cool, I'm, I'm, I'm free right now. She says, Car has won some kind of competition for acting and it's like a state competition and if you could I have to work but if you're free she needs a she needs someone to take her down to Macon for this competition I had nothing else to do you know I work from home most of the time so I'll take her so I pick her up we're driving down to Macon now let me give you a little backstory. The, to the extent of my daughter's acting that I didn't even know that she was interested in acting, I saw her in a play one time. She played a tree. And then other times, she was always that kid that would read the announcements at different events, like at church. She would read the morning announcements or at a school function. She, she's, she's the girl that would be reading the paper. That's about it. But that was a script and it wasn't nothing really mind blowing about the thing she was doing. So I'm thinking, she, my daughter's mom calls me and asks me to take her to this competition. I'm thinking high school, trees, it's gonna be really kitty stuff. Well, we get down there, we park and I'm starting to notice that this is a real professional setting. We get in the building. It is about 20, 30 people in this room. And some of the people, the competition had already started. And I'm looking at these kids and they are, this some real acting stuff. I mean, I see one girl doing a monologue about drinking tea and the English accent and she was doing all this. And I'm looking at all this and, 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 and it was set up like American Idol. It was set up like American Idol. So they had the judges' tables there, had Simon, Randy, and whoever. It would look like that, these, these judges. And these all college professors look like to me. And they all look distinguished. And so I'm seeing these, these, this, these other actors come up and do their monologues, and they are really good. So I started getting nervous. Yeah, I started getting nervous because Remember, the most I've seen my daughter do at that point was she was a tree. So um, I said, hey, Pooh, that's a nickname, Pooh, uh, they're pretty good. And she was like, yeah, they are pretty good, Dad, they are pretty good. And I said, yeah. I'm thinking to myself, you're not nervous? Because I'm nervous, because I'm thinking, I don't want to get embarrassed. My daughter act like it was nothing. No, these people were really acting. All these was the best of the best around Georgia. It was a statewide acting competition. 
So finally it came up to my daughter's turn. I'm sweating bullets because I didn't have a clue, didn't know what she's going to be doing. My daughter came up. She stood in front of the judge's table in the middle of the floor, 20, 30, 40 people around us. And she said, hello, my name is Cara Patterson. I'm going to be doing a, a piece by such and so, such and so, such and so. She took a breath. She put her head down. When she lifted her head back up, she was someone else. She started going and doing her thing. It was a piece, I think it for Color Girls, about an abusive guy. and a, She was in this abusive relationship. She walks you through and everybody's holding on. And she went through this monologue and eventually it went up to the, to the climax where this guy holds this woman's kids out the window. And she's begging and pleading for him not to let go. And he, he's on the eighth floor and he lets the kids go just to spite this woman. And then she went on to finish that piece. And when she finished, I kid you not, almost everybody in that room was crying. And I was just in the corner like this. I couldn't believe what I'd seen. This was just like, needless to say, she won the state competition. And then she went on from there to all the other accolades that I had mentioned before. Blessing out of the blue. I, I on the drive back, called her mom and she just said, asked, I said, she said, how did she do? I said, she's really good. She won. She said, oh, that's really good, that's good. No, 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 I said, you're not understanding. She's not just good, she, 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 she's Angela Bassett good. And my daughter's been rolling ever since. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that was my blessing out of the blue. I want to tell you this right here. Every school I go to, that story about my daughter stuck in my head because I go to schools and I talk to kids about bullying, but I always inject this at the end of my, my speech to encourage kids. And I encourage you, everybody was born with a special gift, a special talent, a special thing, something that you can do better than anyone else in the whole wide world, or at least nobody in the world could do it the way you do it. Now it's your job to figure out what your gift, what your talent, what that thing is. And once you find that gift, it's your responsibility to share your gift with the rest of the world. Explore. Try. You don't know what gifts, what talents, what's down inside of you. Write that book. Uh, study uh, on how to write the book. And uh, write that song or and try different things. You got YouTube. You got Google. You have no excuses. Anything you want to learn, you can learn. I promise you that. I'm a witness. All right, guys, it's your boy, Sarad. I just wanted to share just another personal story with you guys and because I had nothing else better to do.